What is going on everybody? We are going to a tournament here in Phoenix, Arizona and it's a very interesting throwback to the 90s and this is a OG 40k tournament which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, the only thing I'll get into a bunch of details here in this little ramble but so first um, it's a throwback to the 90s that there's no ITC terrain, there's no ITC points, um, they're not rewarding being competitive at all. Although I do think in the 90s people, there were still probably people who were competitive, but, and I was also like 15, so maybe it felt like, uh, or 10 I guess, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, it felt like a skill game in a way. Um, and that's not saying it doesn't feel like that now, but anyway, the tournament, the one thing I dislike about it, it's in, it's a 50 power level, which is very, very small. Um, these are very, very small armies, and I don't think that's enough to really have a good battle. That's like what you would teach somebody how to play at. Uh, it does have a good response, though. There's already like 30 people on Facebook that are interested or going which is awesome that's more people than the ITC events like the RTTs and stuff are getting at our local store right now because people I think are a little burnt out on the Imperial Knights or the super armies or whatever or uh, you know as the edition goes on people just get a little burnt out right it's kinda people are waiting for the orcs and stuff but you know we've been playing a lot of 8th edition 40k Especially if you were like me and played a lot right when it came out. But the best, best thing ever is there's no reward at all, I believe, for winning your games. At all. Period. Which is super interesting. So there's not only no ITC points to draw those people who are really into that. And I'm not saying they're bad people, but for this specific event, it's a good way to, you know, theme your event without that crowd I guess but uh there's no as far as I can tell first second or third place and <clears throat> that is interesting right so the prizes are for best army composition best theme best painted best painted model and best sportsmanship or sportsmanship award a lot of player voting and then some judge voting and uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be playing the Adeptus Mechanicus because it is my fully painted army. I wish I had a fully painted Death Watch for this. Uh, it would be fun to take. Um, because it's power level, there's a lot of room for abuse from certain armies, like, say, Death Watch or something. But because there's really no benefit in winning, uh, as far as I can tell, I don't know why you would even try to go that hard because, in fact the harder your list is like you know punchy hard as nails and you're gonna assume it's probably less thematic and then it's gonna be uh how do you say like less likely to win best theme or best sportsman of course if you painted it well then you know have at it but power level doesn't change with chapter approve so at least I'm pretty sure on that so it's a little unfortunate that some units that maybe were way over costed when they came out who then went down a lot in points still I'm pretty sure use the same power level because they haven't tried to just give like a formula for power level so of course I don't know like when I've played power level with the ad mech it feels not that great uh, but you know they don't really have a lot of crazy upgrades like some of the other armies or really expensive like gun upgrades so that's interesting they're all about the same um, I don't know what I'll run yet I'll probably run a lot of infantry I'll probably just kind of pick my best stuff I feel is my best painted or a little showcase of some painted stuff different units some probably some infiltrators um, I will probably run Lucius or Gria I do like Lucius the uh, minus or ignoring AP one and the now stratagem of going second with the plus one armor save could be interesting because then not only does the heavy bolter 
count as AP zero, but you also have your plus one armor save for the entire army being in cover. Kind of cool. I like deep striking the Electro Priests, so I might take a big block of them. Or actually, I think they're way too many points power level because you only get like five of them for probably five power level or ten power level. I don't know what it is. I actually got to find where I put my book. Uh, <laughs> but so this week I've been pretty sick and haven't got a lot of painting done and haven't done a lot of hobby. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and I've been working on my paintbrush line. Uh, I made a deposit. Uh, to get some more samples and things so hopefully that'll be good but I'm curious if anybody in your area or you or a store or whatever has ran this like attempt at the old school uh, events that we have kind of that nostalgia for and whether or not they were better I don't know um, this one doesn't require painting although I do remember back in the day all events required fully painted armies period and that was just how it was. People wanted to paint. Now with the increase in like a competitive 40k kind of branch with the hobbyists, there are a lot of people who don't hobby, but they do want to like compete. And I think that comes from like uh, how video games got into kind of competitive markets, I guess. Right? So if you're like into esports, you're probably also, if you play 40k, you're probably... Maybe not like the biggest hobbyist, but more thinking of it like an eSport. But that's just a guess. Uh, this is 50 power level. It allows no Forge World. I highly expect it's just going to be big blocks of... A lot of big blocks of Orcs. Because the book will have just come out the week before. So I think everybody's going to bring their Orcs. And I'm a little worried about the Orcs. Because I hate things in the game that uh need that many dice i think it's bad for the game period it's definitely poison for age of sigmar i feel like right now with the amount of dice they like increased thinking that's a good thing i do not think that's a good thing but i mean i think you know 72 dice or whatever is about reasonable because that's two blocks of like the chessex you can just dump them both out but anything beyond that, and even that is a lot, but beyond that it starts to get real crazy. Like when you're pushing, like, your troops are doing a hundred attacks or whatever. It's, I don't know, it's a little monotonous, I guess. I guess you could speed it up by just pulling your models. Uh, I know some people talk about the Dice app. I've never played against it in an event. I would probably let somebody do it because I'm not trying to ruin their time at the event, but I am fully, fully against the Dice app. If I want to watch you stare at your phone, I will literally do anything else in life. And I can see people stare into their phone and, uh, look, I got 10, you know, whatever, who cares? <laughs> it's like watching somebody play Angry Birds while I'm trying to play Warhammer. But like I said, I'm more of, I guess, like a hobbyist. So this event's very appealing to me. I don't believe I could even possibly get enough Death Watch Primaris guys ready to run them in time it would be a unique challenge and i should maybe run the numbers on what i got and what i need to get done because sometimes that's a good way to really crank out some units uh for your army if you are a painter like having a sharp deadline like that so that's pretty cool um and that's about it like i don't know i i do think it could just be a 1200 point army or a 1500 point army or whatever 1300 points or even a thousand but 50 power levels pretty tiny so it'll be a fun day with not too much backbreaking 40k for me uh, but i don't know if you really get to showcase much theme and stuff at just 50 power level so we'll see it is uh, no forge world 50 power level single book so no imperial knights plus eye guard or whatever and uh i don't know that's about it i'm gonna shoot for hopefully best painted um i don't think anything in my ad mac is capable of winning best painted model because they're all kind of dirty and i don't know none of them are really like centerpiece models i don't have like a call 
really my knights are kind of my centerpiece model for that army, but it's uh, one codex armies, and technically the Admech do have a knight, you know, the knights are in their codex, but I'm assuming people are not expecting the knights, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not even sure you can really run a 50 power level knight army, but it'll be interesting. I don't have any... I have a Death Watch Knight that I'm pretty proud of. My Death Watch stuff's pretty cool so far, and it would be fun to get a chance to play like three or four games and really learn my Death Watch rules. But in a competitive standpoint, um, I'd have to play... Even though painting's not required, I have to play fully painted because I would like to compete for the fully painted awards. You know, things like that. So, super interesting... Super fun. Uh, I'm going to double check the Death Watch Primaris unit's uh, power level. Because actually when you're talking 50 power level, uh, it's probably not that many. Probably not that many uh, things I actually have to get done. So maybe I will run them. I do have a plan of obviously running the Death Watch with an guard artillery line uh, for future events. Maybe like an LVO or a Depticon or something. Or you know just playing in the local stores events a little more because a lot of those saturdays when there's a big event going on they fill up the store and uh, i don't mind sitting in the other room our store has three rooms so it's like a store a game room and then a painting room and i don't mind hanging out in the painting room and just painting all day but i paint a lot during the week and saturday's kind of my day to play uh now the two-day tournaments i just don't really care for playing all that those games Saturday and then coming back for more on Sunday. Although I've always had fun, I always feel very sore. My hips and my lower back are killing me at the. So hopefully my uh, new jogging routine will help alleviate that, and I'll be more fit for a 40k two-day events. But uh, anyway, been sick this week, and uh, drinking a lot of power smoothies, eating healthy. And unfortunately, until basically tonight, Friday night, I didn't go to painting on Wednesday. I didn't go tonight and paint. So that's like a lot of hours I didn't paint. Uh, tonight I got some base coats on this Oleander Ghost. And that's cool, but hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow feeling good and we'll be back at it very soon. Uh, please subscribe. 500 subscribers. We'll be doing another giveaway. Uh, check out my eBay store. And I'm just going to show you, I bought a couple uh, paint racks. So hopefully you can see those. And I don't know, they're pretty cool. And I've been enjoying them a lot. So talk to you soon.